Welcome back to Gold Fries. In this video, I'll be exploring the ray tracing technology that is on the RX 6000 series. Now, this is the Radeon RX 6800. I guess you know by now because you should have seen my review and my other video about smart access memory. But if you haven't, as in your first time here, well, now you know. And I'll put the links up above and in the comment section as always. So, ray tracing. Now, this term has been around for a while, started with, actually it's been around for a really long time. It's just that it got more hyped up after the RTX series from NVIDIA. So now, AMD's graphics card, like this 6000 series, supports ray tracing as well. But if you notice, AMD didn't talk much about this ray tracing thing during their presentation. Even in our reviewer's guide, the ray tracing part is very little. And that, of course, it's understandable that it's not the strong point of this card, or should I say this architecture with the RDNA 2 and all. But um, it's just to, even in this video, it's just to highlight the possibilities um, that, well, as you know, AMD now does have ray tracing and there are games that support it. And I will cover these games. So without further ado, let me show you the three games that I'm using. The Shadow of the Tomb Raider, The Rift Breaker, and Godfall. These are the three titles I have, and I have observed the differences, and I'm going to just share to you my findings. Let's go. Starting from this scene, you see that the shadow of the card behind her is distinctly different. And on this same scene, you see that the ray traced shadows actually looks better. Observe how the ray traced shadow is more pleasant and consistent and it paints a more realistic feel to the dark scenery. Next up, we have the jungle scene. Same for this scene, the shadows on the ground look more realistic. The shadows are softened as opposed to the harsh ones without ray tracing. Next, we have the game The Rift Breaker. I don't need to speak much as you can see the difference is distinct and the one with ray tracing looks really beautiful. Lastly, we have Godfall, of which I barely notice any difference, save for the better reflections on the floor and the hair that seems darker all the way. In these three titles, I set the ray trace settings to maximum and the impact on the performance is significant, with Shadow of the Tomb Raider taking a 47% performance hit. The Rift Breaker took a whopping 68% performance hit, but going from 352 average to 112 isn't all that bad, considering the output quality is distinctly different with the ray trace output being glorious. Godfall, on the other hand, took 25% performance hit. This game has no benchmark tools, so I had to use MSI Afterburner with me running around at the first scene for about 3 minutes. Alright, so with that done, um, as you can see, the ray tracing technology is, well, at least it's in the RDNA 2 architecture. You can use it on your AMD RX 6000 series graphics card. And whether you should enable it, you saw from my benchmarks and my recording, the if it looks great, like the Rift Breaker, the performance impact is huge, but I guess it's worth it. And the frame rate is still above 100 FPS. But games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it took me so much time to look for the difference. Um, there's other games like Metro Exodus, which uh, I did not cover here. And there's Godfall, where everything is so shining. I can't even tell which one is the ray tracing thing. Even just now, the one that I show you, really, I am not sure whether that is the ray tracing effect. Seriously, simply because it does not have a benchmark uh, utility running. So moving around the path, it's just, I might miss some, uh, some stuff there. So do let me know. 
So yeah, good to have, good progress is um, not something that to shout about just yet, but hey, um, yes, I'm happy for AMD's improvement and um, enabling this feature. So all right, that's it for this video, a simple one about AMD's ray tracing. I hope you like it. And if you like this kind of content, do check out the, the rest of my content as well. And um, if you can, help me by subscribing to this channel. It will mean a lot to this tiny channel, One Man Show. All right, that's it for now. Bye-bye. I'll see you guys in the next one.